வணக்கம் we are yet again for uh, one more uh, new program today new session today and idu vande it's going to be something very very different very very special so this series find a career for life with amway okay and uh, as we had promised you earlier that each and every time when we have wanted to come out with a session we wanted to make it something very special and as this business it this business is for different age groups Uh, irrespective of the gender background every other categorized when come ade madri each and every time whenever we wanted to give you a session we wanted to ensure that uh, at if at every category we are able to cover up people okay so that's where we are and right now before even i call upon the speaker i just wanted to quick, make a quick mention out here that uh, our uh, home delivery for tamil nadu is going full fledged in fact the 95% of the orders which has been has been been fulfilled for this entire month balance 5% da irukke first to 10th of this uh, month orders have been fulfilled uh, yet to be fulfilled 10th ku apparama irukra orders la we are doing it ladies and gentlemen one important announcement calmac offer is getting over another 200 plus da irukke this is expected to get over tonight calmac offer so don't wait for it uh, i don't think so nalik varaikum irukunte it is almost getting over and the last update idra 2 3 hours kunadi paathadhu vande it is just another 200 left out normal average pathina or one every 2 hours to up to 150 gets built immediately okay so don't wait for it and uh, welcome welcome you all i am sure each and every one are safe and healthy most important is bright and positive that is one thing which is missing out and only through ampay association only through the strong community we would be able to uplift others iniki to uplift the lives of other people we have a special guest right uh, with us and ivar pathina he is a young vibrant professional cricketer just one year back along with their family they had visited chennai to address the crowd and i still recollect and i'm sure many out here would recollect that the entire session they spoke in tamil and wonderful tamil so don't get carried away okay in the session is going to be tamil abdina illa it is going to be english english session new version Amway 3.0. Are they Madhuri? This is going to be I don't know. for you 35 3.0. Are you ready? So when I say are you ready, like you can also applause. Okay, you brought either a point in your applause panel, and this is not for me. This is to applause the the guest speaker today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the guest speaker for career for life with Amway, Ashwin Bargar, professional cricketer. and one more big credit nn pathina which is which is the pride for south region which is the pride for our entire country is he is also the youngest platinum in amway india and i'm also very much excited because iniki communicate pandra vidham iniki unga kitta the way he is going to connect is about the modern messaging so are you ready so without taking much time i'm going to now invite him onto the virtual session with all your applause and blessings and i'm 100% sure this session this session tonight will be a game changer for lot many people and we all should reach out to the people in the society reach out to our brothers and sisters neighbors in order to uplift them so ladies and gentlemen let's invite ashwin bargava onto the virtual session over to you ashwin Oh. we have the spotlight hi guys uh, i hope i am audible uh, anyway I, i don't know i if someone could probably send a message that i'm it's all clear because it's hard to know with, with yourself but anyways, it was it was nice receiving uh, that introduction and uh, and um, i think it's quite daunting actually i'm seeing the numbers this is this is huge i think there are more than 900 people on this call i think that that was uh, that's something that's uh, different i think that's pretty amazing to see that see those kind of numbers i think to me um it's amazing i think when we think with technology uh, what's happening with the reach i think to me today like thinking on a phone we are connected with more than 900 people today 
that is uh, amazing i think one i'm sure it's going to touch 1000 or whatever it is um, but anyways uh, thank you so much for the introduction and um, um anyways uh, i think to me um, it was not very really nice receiving that but um, i'll probably give you an introduction myself uh, i'm ashwin bhargava um, a professional cricketer by background and obviously now obviously full time into the anime business as well so um anyways I, i think to me first of all i would uh, before i get to anything i, I think me i would love to thank uh, gerald bapu and uh, and the amway team for having me over here i think it's a it's an absolute honor to be in this little forum having this little meeting uh but um anyways what, what i what we thought was uh, i think to me there's so many things you can share you can learn but i think uh, the best way i think to me which was thing is because if i look at it Uh, am i the best in the i mean business definitely not why i think i'm one of the average or the worst because i think to me if it were for me to teach you about anything about the business i think there are better people to teach you about it but what i do think is uh maybe if i share my journey towards what happened what was my experience with the amway business maybe uh maybe if you if you can relate to it maybe you can see uh, maybe you can see your journey if some of you are already building the amway business seriously then probably you faced a lot of the stuff that i faced uh maybe you're just getting started on your journey but these are the things which you will probably face in the future when what happens when you actually face something that maybe then you will correlate and say oh wow i can i can relate to that i face something that what ashwin faced that's what maybe we can have a similarity in something that even though we don't know each other that's the beauty about the business we all are fighting for the common goal and the same goal so anyways i'll i'll jump right to it i think to me today i was told to share a bit of my story and share a bit about my journey in the amway business how did i get started I think everyone wants to know this, but I think before I get started on how I got into the Amway business, I think it's important for people to know what type of person I was. First and foremost, I like all of you. I'm young, ambitious, all those things. But uh, traditionally, I was always involved in sport from a pretty young age. I was always uh, involved in sport, and I've always been, yeah. And I took cricket professionally from a very young age, and I was pursuing cricket for a long time. Yeah, and. Um, now in the journey period obviously we faced lots of ups and downs and that journey has been fantastic as well and it's going but now how did that transition from okay pursuing full time sport to even coming into the business uh first and foremost i would like to i think many of you probably know about this because i've i i think majority of the crowd if i'm not wrong is from tamil nadu so i think i've i've had a close reaction close interaction with most of you there even though even though i've never been much there but whenever i have come it's been really friendly i think all of you know that i'm probably i'm a second generation in the amway business so knowing about the amway business like traditionally people are invited by someone they don't know or anything i knew about the amway business from the day i was born like i knew about it i've i've grown up within an amway house like i've, I've grown up in a family that has been really successful in the amway business so for me knowing about the amway business was not it was not about oh is it good or is it Did I have to research it or anything like that? Because I knew the Amway business is an amazing business, but it was only a question of when do I do it. I think that's that's the question. In my story, I cannot tell you, oh wow, I didn't know about the Amway business, and I I was I was wowed by the amazing business that it did. But it was not like that. I knew all about it, and it was only a matter of when. So when did that change happen? When did I from pursuing cricket to say alongside I wanted to build the business? What, what when was that time? Like I remember it was about two years back now. I was uh, at the age of twenty, and I I remember just like many of you, I'm sure all of you, twenty year olds or twenty five year olds, all of you, we have a lot of expenses. I'm sure you you have a lot of fun, whatever it is, and these sort of things. Like if I look back, I I was a very privileged kid. I've I've had a lot of luxuries that many have not had. Probably some have had. I don't know. But what I can say, I have had a pretty luxury youth. Now, when I look at that journey, there was one thing that I always thought was. I was always able to get what I wanted, even from a young age. But one of the things that I always want is how long we how how long was I going to live on someone else's riches? Like my parents are really successful in this, and they were diamonds. And I'm sure if you've been in this business for any length of time, you know you know the lifestyle of a diamond is very different to a, let's say anything else. It's really unique. Now, growing up in a house that already had a diamond, I had a pretty decent youth and a good lifestyle coming up. But where was that um, transition into me building the business was? it always would irritate me being in the fact of always having to ask for something i hated the fact of if i wanted to buy something i had to ask someone for it i don't want to ask my parents for anything because i always look at it as i want to earn myself want to do something on my own want to have I always tell this to people one of the reasons i built the business if i look back on why i started it was i always was known as ashwin bargava 
and i don't think that's what you want to be known as i want to be known as ashwin the bargava can come later like you want to be known for what you stand for not because of what your family has done or whatever it is so that's that was where i said to myself i want to look at the business why because along with my cricket i wanted something else i wanted to earn i wanted to i wanted to be self sufficient never ask for stuff that was a very very simple reason that got me started on a very very big journey to think about that small little reason that i wanted to do things on my own so how did i get started that was like that moment where you just say i want to do something on my own so that's when i went up and i told my parents i'm ready to get started in the business so what do i do and um, then coincidentally uh, just a very similar event like this that you, what you came I, i i attended a similar event and yeah I, i was kind of i was like kind of nice did i did i really connect with what the speaker said and did i love it maybe not maybe not the first time not not completely but there were few takeaways and it was enough for me to be intrigued in the business but not yet to get committed and started probably took a second meeting and a third meeting but when i came to meetings like this where i saw people and i saw and i saw people who were really successful in life really high achievers really take the amway business forward i thought really there's no thinking for me it's just high time i got started there was no, there was nothing to think there was no logic behind it it was just get started now so that's when i went home and i said okay this is it i want to build the amway business now i, I want to i want to drive through i want to be successful in where you are successful i know you've achieved great but i want to be the same now that was that was where i started now so so what happened what did i do first things first um i basically started with the thing and i was like okay this is what you have to do and um, so my journey in the amway business was as as abrupt as that it was just like off the bat okay get started so i decided okay i got started with the amway business and i said to myself okay what we have to do and and obviously when when an amway business it's a people business isn't it so product it's a people business so first thing i had to do was i i wanted to i thought okay i have understood the business I, like you know one of the things which probably has hurt me when i was quite new in the business was i had a zero learning attitude my my cup was already full like i i never would learn anything like if anyone told me anything i would be like i know better i'll i'll find my way which there is a pro to that but i think there was more cons when i look back so i just decided to get on my journey of the amway business and say i'll do it my way and i remember like i got started with the amway business as quick as possible i immediately made a phone call to one of my close friends and i told him um yeah i I've, i've started something i'm i'm really interested in working in it and i i want you to join whatever and you know many of you have a story where you probably your first person you spoke to was negative or whatever it was in my case that was not the case he was uh, the first person i ever showed the business to was actually very positive um he joined immediately day one of my amway business i had sponsored my first uh, ads back then it was immediately to be an ads today have to be an adr and then ads but immediately it became an ads so that was my day one imagine first day i sponsor an ads and guess what in the evening of the mo- morning i sponsor an evening is done about 50 points and i was thinking to myself <laughs> I thought I'm already a diamond. I thought like, wow, I've mastered the Amway business in one day. I've done better than everyone else. That was my idea of it. Only then did I realize that the journey is just begin beginning. And I think to me there are too many. There was a lot of different stuff that I faced over the next few weeks. Uh, so yeah, that was how I got started. And I thought, wow, I've mastered the business, and why should I learn anything? I know it better than anyone now. So what did I do next? Next, I decided, okay. I called one person and he was ready he's, he's keen and they're all excited so I decided I called 30 people this time I called all of my close friends and blah 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 whatever I told them uh, either it was a product either it was a business whatever it was. I I made I decided I will expose the products or the business to 30 people and I did it guess what and I remember this 30 people I called and I remember very 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 surprisingly I I remember it was like a it was like a gut wrenching moment because I remember only four people even picked my calls after that. After that, four twenty-six people were missing. Four people were even picking my calls. Now those four people, I eventually met them. I shared the products, whatever. And guess what? No one bought anything. No one joined the business. Nothing happened. Now why am I telling you this? Is because it's funny how the Amway business works. Like when I look back then. after that sort of experience i probably thought this is not for me not that the amway business doesn't work why does why did i never feel that because i know my parents they make a lot of money from the way they live a great lifestyle so the business for me i knew the business worked but maybe i thought for me the amway business doesn't work but i realized later that 
probably everyone goes through what I did go through at that point. So guess what? I got a few negatives and it was very gut wrenching. So yeah, there was, there was certain problems. And I remember like I would call one of those four people would call me and say something like, Oh, Ashwin, I, you know, I'm your close friend, but you know, I spoke to my uncle. Yeah. My uncle told me he tried and wait, it didn't work for him. He tried this. Someone would say my auntie tried, my uncle tried and I, I'd be like, okay, well, how do I respond to this? And then I speak about rejection. It's funny. There's a very funny story that I think about is when people go and ask people certain things is I, I remember this story because I heard it in, in somewhere. And I remember I, I love that little story that, that came through was it was a, it was a love story between, I, I'll just tell you the story and share it with you because I heard it was uh, there's this upline and downline in the Amway business. I'm sure you all know serious builders and huh? they're really successful in the Amway business. Very, very successful. And they go in this taxi, they go in the taxi and um, yeah, they're talking about, um, they are just uh, spending time together, obviously upline and downline, right? So they're discussing a few things. The downline is telling the upline, yeah, this month I need to break leg three and I need to fight for leg four, blah, blah, blah. And the upline is telling, yes, yes, this is the month. You know, this, this, this fiscal year, you need to go Emerald next fiscal year. You need to, you need to plan for your diamond ship, all that they're discussing. And it was, it was probably they had a great time because they are Amway business builders. But what happened? Then the taxi guy drops the upline. The upline goes home. Now the downline is continuing in the car and he's going to his house. Now here's the funny part. So then the downline is a friendly guy. He, he starts talking with the taxi driver and blah, blah, blah. And, and the taxi guy asks, so what do you do, sir? And all that. And he tells, I think the Amway business, vagera, vagera. And then coincidentally, the downline asks the taxi driver, oh, do you know about Amway? And, um, then the taxi driver looks at him and like just gives him a look and says, yeah, sir, I know about Amway. I know. Then the downline asks him, okay, so, so what do you know about Amway? And then he says, yeah, sir, I don't know exactly what is Amway, but for something, if I understand it's something to do with the mining business, they keep mining for diamonds, emeralds, rubies, whatever it is. And for some reason to achieve that, to get, find these diamonds, they have to break people's legs. Now, the, the funny part in this story is you can, you can hear about Amway from a taxi driver or you can hear about it from an Amway diamond. The question is, who are you going to listen to? It's like today, if I got the COVID virus, we all are worried about it. I'm sure it's affected us big time. But if you were to get it by chance, I mean, God forbid, no one should get it. But if you were to get it, would you just go to a chaiwala and ask him to cure you? Or would you go to a hospital or a doctor? That's the same principle. When I wanted to see... When I got rejections, the number one reason they got rejected was they weren't even asking the right questions. And second, they weren't asking it to the right people. When I understood that, I really realized that it's only a matter of time before they came back into the business when they understood what I saw in the business. So anyways, coming back to the point where I had faced so much rejection, which I think, yeah, talking about it itself gives me bad memories, but I think it's worth it now. But anyways, going back to that moment when that, all that happened, yeah, I faced the rejections and then I thought, okay, my first guy is still very active. He's very, very active in the business. Now I decided it's been about three weeks since I've been in the business. I'm, I'm really active. And the fourth week I decided no one is, nothing's happening. My growth is not happening. Nothing. One month in, I've done nothing. I decided to call the very first person that I spoke to. The very, very, very first person that I spoke to, which I told you, day one, he joined the business. He did a 50 point turnover. That means 50 PV in the evening of the day I, that he joined the business. It was good. I decided to call him. Guess what? Now this guy has gone negative. I was like, wow, one month in, I have nobody, not a customer, not an ABO, nothing. I have nothing in my business. One month in, this guy has gone negative. And this guy, if I look back on why I'm here today, I think this guy has played a very, very big part. Why would I, I'll tell you that story because I think it plays a very big part in why I succeed because I've had a lot of people reject me, but there was something that he told me that really hurt. Uh, when I, uh, when he obviously turned negative and blah, 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 he told me one thing. He said, Ashwin, I don't think it works and all that. And I said, come on, you know, it works. Come on. My parents, this, blah, 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 all that. But then he said, no, I don't think so. Then he said one thing, you earn 50,000 from the business. Then you come back to me. And it was very hurtful to me back then because that back then I did not earn much from the Amway. I earned a little bit by doing all these little sales here and there. A few thousand rupees. I had not earned anything yet. I had not earned any significant money. It really hurt. But that's the choice that you need to make. That's the choice. At that moment, I can tell you this. I was that close to quitting. I was that close to quitting. But I think about it's fine lines in life. 
if i had quit back then would i be here in front of you today that's why that story i'll come back to it later on how that story develops um, but when someone tells me that you can't do it or you do this prove me wrong you know for me there was an ego and i had to do it i had to do it now i had to succeed because more than anything i had to prove him wrong forget about success you know i hated losing i couldn't be a loser in front of him and i wanted to succeed guess what i went back to my parents this time and this time i said instead of doing it my way all these things i will follow what you tell me i will i'll follow what was required i will learn the business the right way what did they tell then i started to understand how do i actually build customers what happened why suddenly the same people who were rejecting me turned because i built a proper customer culture that changed completely with that how did that happen number 1 many of you people like we talk about it, i started attending a lot of amway trainings i learned about the products the trainings were fantastic they gave a lot of details in the products i learned about it i learned i was willing to learn the big difference in the first month was i was not willing to learn month 2 i was willing to learn I went to my plan strategize the game plan properly for a year i decided this is how i'm going to build the business this is what i'm going to do what did they say find the passion find a passion because by what you're passionate about that's what you can sell rather than looking to sell everything in the world find something that really makes you unique that that if someone looks at you they say that is what ashwin stands for what did i think what what is it that i am unique for i was a cricketer what does cricket go with number one being healthy you cannot find a cricketer a successful cricketer who is unhealthy right so that came healthy living that's when we started moving into i started focusing on health started focusing on purely mutual light as my business that was my fulcrum around my business especially from mutual light comes in my weight loss business and that's how my business started growing my business has been predominantly a weight loss driven business most of my business that i succeeded whatever i did in the amway business has been heavily driven on weight loss how did that happen my parents came up with a beautiful weight loss community the my uplines that's my front line uplines if anyone understands that probably the new people here doesn't understand the terminology of upline and all but you will figure that out in time they came up with a beautiful community it was called weight loss works and that community that particular brand that we developed that brand was what was the fulcrum of my platinum journey by by getting people on to weight loss building referrals finding people finding people and and getting them on weight loss why was weight loss such a good thing for me one because i thought i'm i'm not the fittest person in the world but by no means am i unfit right i'm not i'm not unfit and i spoke to people i had credibility in that industry because i learned about health and i preached what i had learned about and that's how i built that industry that weight loss works industry took off it took off suddenly i was growing like never before all those rejections were behind me suddenly my business was exploding suddenly it was a very different world and my business started to take off and i started getting referral after referral get one customer in get referral and out of people who were excited you got a customer in who was excited passionate because they lost weight they went on to say i want to build a business i want to spread the same benefit that i got that's how my business started to grow what happened i found a passion i decided to follow someone i decided to be teachable one of the one of the things i can tell you in the business personal experiences many of us delay our success in the amway business because we refuse to think that someone can do things better than us even in my case even though it was my parents and i knew they were very successful i refused to agree to that the day i did my business just took off so that was my journey and i'll come into how online and how we grew and what what were the different steps we took but anyways that was how my business grew that was my step in the right direction was it all smooth not really there were a lot of difficulties on the path of building the sort of a community and growing a business that way but every hurdle was worth it because we really really accelerated as as a business now so what happened i started getting referrals and referrals would go into sometimes outstation outstation sometimes you'll get referrals and then eventually you'll get active builders in another state for example we got active builders in in telangana we got active builders in kerala now from bangalore these places are not really close by honestly they are not they are not very close by but but that's the price that's the price for business i decided to drive we decided to drive many times i remember to in my journey of from 0 to 21% to then go platinum i remember so many times traveling to different states 
traveling it was a distance it's not easy traveling trust me when you're traveling in a car you wake up early in the morning travel 300 kilometers and sometimes you stay for a day or two and then you come back 300 400 kilometers it is i i refuse to tell you this i i wish i could i wish i could tell all of you that i loved that experience i loved it no i didn't i really didn't ex- love that experience but what i loved was even today we paid because of the effort we did a long time back that's the beauty of the business when you put in an hour today you can be paid for a long time as long as you do it the right way and that was the beauty every time that we traveled it was not easy but it was worth it and that was the beauty of the business where um, we traveled and we, we met different people met different cultures the beauty of the business is i'm a i'm a 22 year old i don't have any fancy educational background i am not one of those things but when you think about it the business has no restrictions you can you can have doctors in your business you can have scientists in your business you can have anybody in your business but just provided you're ready to pick up the phone and make a call that's what it takes to get a customer in your business that's what it takes to build that explosive growth that's what it takes i believe today and i can tell you this today you don't have to do that traveling that i did you don't have to look back and say i need to travel kilometers and kilometers today all you need is your phone a zoom call away and you can you can meet anyone and everyone just by doing that make that make that one commitment to to just pick up the phone and think just look at the opportunity like i always see when i see people's phone and i see 300 400 600 contact that's a gold mine waiting for you that's a gold mine waiting for you it just takes someone to have the guts to pick up the call and start that process when you do that that's where results come so anyways weight loss works kept growing we started really focusing on the weight loss industry and not, not that we didn't focus on any other things of course we i built the artistry thing i built i built we always sold every other product whether it was home care atmosphere mini whatever it was we always kept everything but you always need to have a focus something that makes you unique that was my my unique factor was weight loss so i built that industry and then we moved my parents built a beautiful online community they have a, they have an instagram channel actually i think general knows quite a bit about uh, what we do so when i think about it all those things what did the instagram community give to us what did online selling give what did online credibility give what can it give you in the future what does it create when you create a personal brand for yourself online what happens tomorrow when you speak to someone they can look at look you up and you have an online brand working for you when i would tell people about weight loss and i would tell them you know what just check our page out on instagram weight loss works you will know more about it that gave me a lot of posture a lot of strength because i didn't have to beg people i would just say check it out you may like it you may not i don't know you'll check it out yourself what does that give it gives me control that brand image that you can build for yourself on instagram is priceless instagram facebook whatever it is but understanding how to use this i think you have wonderful people out there you should contact the person who brought you into this meeting i think they'll give you a, a proper guidance on where to go with this but that was my journey in terms of weight loss but now when i think back every every step of the way every step uh when we traveled those distances when we traveled those kilometers uh i remember once like uh, we traveled like um, what, 350 kilometers i remember while coming back from there to bangalore god forbid you know the ac stopped working in the car this is the peak summer in andhra and ac stops working in the car imagine if you are coming back in a car it's like an oven trust me andhra weather is not a weather to be toyed with it is a very very difficult weather to deal so coming back was that was that phase of my life very difficult of course it was difficult of course it was but that's when i look back and think thank god i paid that price that back then because today i live a different life because of that thank god you you pay the right this you make the right calls that eventually like when i think about it today as a 22 year old while others are looking at the covid 19 and thinking wow it's just destroyed our um, our lives basically it's destroyed it's disrupted everything you know people who built the amway business the right way and, and really grown amway is not stopped think about it the beauty of the amway business did you stop brushing your teeth in this time did you stop using amway products amway has just grown and grown i think the business is doing better now than it has ever ever done even when things were open and really honestly credit to amway for that really when when things were difficult to be very honest with you when covid came as a surprise to all of us amway just like jumped in and provided all these facilities just like a meeting like today think about it which company does that for you 
I think when I think about what Andy has given us was a, was a blessing and they really acted proactive. And today we're all seeing the rewards for that. But anyways, I don't want to talk too much about it. For uh, just cutting a long story short, by driving those miles, we broke a platinum recently uh, in, in another state. Now think about it. All those things, all those times when you, you make those efforts, it pays off in the long run. Did we face negatives? Of course I did. I told you about it. A lot of difficult ne negatives. Now, coming back to that negative, I told you there was a story like no other. I told you about a guy who told me, Ashwin, you earn 50,000 rupees. Then you come back to me. I told you about that. At this point, I was earning a lot from the business, a lot. I was earning a six figure income from the business. I remember that feeling. I, I tell you this feeling. I, I don't know if any, I don't suggest any one of you do, do such a thing, but I remember what I did. I got the income statement for the six figure income and I decided I'll just take a little screenshot and I'll send it to him. And I thought, I was like, are you sure that's 50,000 or is that a little bit more? Now, uh, is that a good thing? Did I probably hurt him? I don't know, but did it feel good? I, I can tell you this. I will build this business how many ever times to keep getting that feeling, that feeling of winning and doing something that others think you can't. That was what, I, what it was. Now, when I think about it, uh, I don't know if I've taken too much time, actually. I'm a, I'm a little confused. I hope, I, I hope I'm not uh, dragging it in terms of time, but- uh, You're on yeah. time. So anyways, when it comes to the rewards part of what, what did Ambe give me? What, what happened during this run? How was the journey to the platinum journey? Like I spoke about weight loss, spoke about traveling, spoke about all this, but what happened? What was the rewards of the business? And what do you think? Now we spoke about find a career with the Amway. I think that was the title of today. I didn't even know about it, but it's a wonderful title, find a career through Amway. Now, when I look back two years back, did I think that this was a career for me? Did I think that this was a career? I joined the business because I was spending, let's say, X amount of money a month, let's say 5,000, 10,000. I wanted to make an extra 5, 10,000 and not ask my parents for it. Back then, did I see a career for myself? I'll be lying to you if I told I saw myself as a career. But when I, when I got in a, and got into the, the, the crux of the Amway business, the career potential, the potential, the life that is possible in a very short time, I look back and I'm thinking, sometimes, uh, most of you are probably looking at this and thinking, is Amway a career? Is it not? I don't care if it is or not. What I'm telling you is many of you think, let it, let perfection come. Like even I was like this, where we thought, let me think Amway is a career and then I'll take it up. Sometimes we wait for perfection and we fail to act. I don't care about the perfect situation or imperfect situation that we are in today. Today we have a lot of excuses. COVID-19 is one of the biggest of them. But the question is, are you going to wait for the perfect time or are you going to start today? Start today. Make a decision today, not, not tomorrow, not, not one year from now, because what I did all my life, you know, when I think back, what was the biggest regret I had was I didn't start the business when I was young. I could have started this business when I was 18. I didn't do that. And that was a mistake that I made. That was the one mistake that I think I definitely paid a big price for by not taking up that one moment. So. I know people take a decision today. Don't wait for perfection. I would say a lot of imperfect things are better than one or two perfect things. So keep going after imperfection. Did I wait to learn the perfect way to build the ambitious? No, I just went and built it. Did I learn? Did I learn everything perfectly? No, I didn't, but I just kept doing it. And the more you do something, the better you get at it. So anyways, guys, I think uh, we've had a, a long and you know, whatever session, but I thought more than anything, I think, I, I, guys, I thought it will be more fun if I use a bit of slides and tell you what was the rewards of the ambivalence, what happened when I, when I traveled, when I built the ambivalence, when I worked hard in the business, what was the rewards, what, what did I get at the end of the road? Like we always tell this, uh, I remember the very first time I came to a seminar and I, I remember what the speaker, what he told me, what, what he told from the stage was, uh, when you look at the Amway business, and this was a speaker, he was a founder executive diamond and he said, uh, what do you think, uh, when you look at the Amway business, if you are sitting in the crowd and asking yourself, is the Amway business easy or difficult, then you're the wrong person. He said, the right person is looking at the Amway business and saying, not whether it's easy, difficult, whatever. They're looking and saying, at the end of the road, when you complete the journey, is the journey worth it? Is the journey worth it? Now I can tell you this, I don't know whether you will believe me or not believe me, because I don't know you, you don't know me. Most of us are unknown to each other here, but 
I can show you in the next few seconds, maybe the ambivalence was just worth it. And thank God I made that decision. So anyways, I'll use a few slides to just show you what, what were the few rewards as a young 22 year old, what did I get in the last two years of building the ambivalence? What was, what happened? What changed the Amway business? Uh, what you see on your little slide here was the first, uh, was the platinum forum, if I'm not wrong. I think it was the platinum forum, yes. Now, this was me as a 21 year old and I was recognized if I'm, I remember as the youngest platinum of that calendar year. Did that feel good? I think it was amazing. Now, if I could just go back to the previous slide. Uh, yeah, like when I think about this, what was so lovely about this particular trip? was not because, have I been to Bangkok before? Trust me, it's a boring place, man. I've been there for four times already. I've been there a lot of times, but what was the difference this time? Why did I enjoy this trip? For the first time in my life, I went on my work, not on someone else's work, not on someone else's money. This was completely paid by Andre. Like, I remember this was for my platinum trip and I remember my platinum year. It's funny to say this, I remember as a platinum, I earned uh, what, 9.6 lakhs that calendar year. 9.6 lakhs, a young person earning in a, in a calendar year, 21 year old. Is that, is that um, a good income? I think it was a great income. But today, today, the same, the same repeat, you do what I did, the income is so different. Today, uh, an average platinum earns so much more because core plus and the kind of structure you build a business, the kind of customer community that you build, you can earn so much more than I did. But when I thought about it, that was a huge income back then. But what was the beauty of this Bangkok trip was it was completely on my own earning and I, I interacted with a lot of amazing people. I actually, I think the speaker who spoke there was the youngest crown ambassador in the world. It was a, it was a, it was a once in a lifetime experience, but why was it special? Not because the experience was great, but because I earned it. That's what the business can give you. Uh, this is actually me being recognized as the youngest platinum in Bangkok. Now, think about it. 600 people um, are there, I guess, if I'm not wrong. I'm, let my, I'm not sure my numbers are exactly correct. 600, 500, 600 people, all at the platinum and above level. They've all achieved platinum. Now, think about it. Amongst that people, you're being recognized for something that you've done. Think about that. It's not just recognition. You're being recognized amongst winners. Now that's a unique feeling that you get. Everyone in that auditorium is a winner. No one, they have all achieved and been there. They all achieved something to be in that forum. And yes, in that forum I was recognized, which was an unbelievably great feeling. Now, I remember the very first time I came to something and I saw somebody, some speaker on the stage telling me, I did this, I did that. Uh, I traveled to so many countries. I thought, what a self-obsessed guy. What a, what a, I don't care if you went to Bangkok or whether you went to wherever you went, USA, you go where you want. It's not my life. What am I trying to tell you is not to tell you, oh, I went to Bangkok, I was recognized. No, I'm not trying to tell you that. What I'm trying to tell you that is if you focus this one year, maybe next year that could be you. Maybe that little picture, it could be have your face in it. That's the difference. That's what the ambivalence can get. I'm not looking and telling, look at me. I'm looking and telling, that can be you. Provided you make the right decisions, provided you make a few right calls in your business, where you commit to the business. Like I was, I was uh, many times in my business, I look back, I was about to quit the business, but I made a decision to continue every time I was close to quit. Because I remember my upline told me only one thing. Uh, what's the best When you are about to quit the end of business, just make one more phone call. That's what kept me going. Every time I was close to failing, I made one extra phone call. What do you need? You need a phone to build the Amway business. That's Bangkok. Anyways, I'm, I'm coming to the end of my slides and I, this was the MPF. And anyway, this was me speaking in a panel. Um, the panel was amongst five or six selected platinums there. And they were asked a few questions. It was lovely. I think some of you, I'm sure some of you platinums were already there. There you've probably seen it. It was a great experience. Anyway, this is my last slide. Now, what am I trying to tell you in this slide? I, why did I pick this slide? Well, this is my last slide. Is this is my two greatest experiences in life? When I think about fun experiences, my two greatest experiences was the Dubai skydive and uh, the bungee jumping in Singapore. And why did I pick this? Was not to tell you that this was my greatest experiences. You know, the Amway business and bungee jumping and skydiving are so similar. So similar. It's. I remember when I was standing in front of that bungee jump. I, I remember I was right there, right there in front of everybody. On the edge of that bungee jump, I remember 
did I feel very, very excited? Maybe, but was I tensed out of my mind to succeed, to, to fall? Like, what was that? Was I like, how would I, would I die? I don't know. I don't know. But you, even though you know a rope is there, it's, it's hard to, you, you know, it's still hard when you see yourself a hundred feet down. It's, it's a lot of difference. But why do you take that jump? Why do you take that jump? Whatever is the reason, many of us stand there. Many people I remember stood there in that budget jump, the, the final step and many of them backed off. They didn't make the jump. Some did. What's the difference in the Amway business? What's this, where do I see the similarity? When you're in that, that position, when you jump in a bungee jump, that bungee, that rope is gonna hold you. You know, all you, require, all you need to do in the Amway business is to jump in. You know the difference in the Amway business? You may not have a bungee or a rope, but the Amway Corporation will hold you. That's what you have. That's what you have. Many of us overthink thousand things. You take a decision by making that jump. Someone will catch you. Someone will catch you. But you got to jump in. That's what I did. That's the only difference. We complicate a lot of things, make that jump. We think thousand things before we make the jump. It's only human nature. When I was in that bungee jump, it was not like I came there and I just jumped. It was tensing. But when I made that jump, that feeling of winning, that feeling of all those negative emotions where, oh, will I fall? Will the rope cut? Will this happen? Will that happen? All that is diminished because that feeling of having done the bungee jump is a different feeling. It's a completely unique feeling when you've done it. When you jump out of an airplane at 13,000 feet, it's scary. But when it's done, that feeling is something you can, money can never buy. All the money did buy it. It was not that it came free. Money does cost a lot of money to buy that. But that feeling is a unique feeling. And that's the feeling you'll get in the angry business. But make that jump. Anyways, guys, it was um, an absolute pleasure speaking with all of you. I, I hope like, uh, I think I've, be, I've been between you and your dinner. I hope I've not taken too much of your time. But I just want to end by telling a few things. When I look back on my journey to platinum and beyond, and what, is, what are the, the, the intangibles? Like I told you, the income, this, that, I, I, my posture grew, I, I became a better person, all those things. There were a lot of benefits. But when I look back two years and now, I remember people would, I remember some of my closest friends telling me, Ashwin, you must be crazy. Huh? You must have really no other work. What are you doing in all this? I remember did, when I got those criticisms, when, I was, when some of my closer friends would say, are you crazy? Did it hurt me? Of course it did. Of course, if you are not human, it will not hurt you. But if you are a human, it will hurt you. It did hurt me also. But the only question you need to ask yourself at that moment is one question. What would you rather be? Would you rather be crazy and rich or would you be dignified and poor? What's, what choice are you going to make today? Make a decision to take a step in the right journey. If you're standing on the edge of that bungee, make a decision to jump. Because you know what, Amway is going to hold you. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Um, been a wonderful audience. And anyways, I would love to hand it over to uh, the MC and they can take it from here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ashwin. Thank you so much. It was a great pleasure having you here. And uh, for the benefit of uh, you know Tamil Nadu leadership, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. Either a thing now or a message. It's absolutely to the point, 40 minutes, in fact, 38 minutes, and a connect with the seven five car machine were a particular opportunity of what is the best way to share. You know, opportunity of being a mother, Nayaper in an electric corner, Ipo, other level the plan, other on the income recurrent. The way indicate a platinum or opportunity, Katna with an unpathina, it's about personal branding. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the need of the art. Keep it short and sweet. This is the modern messaging. This is what can attract U35 into our business. And that's one of the reasons. Uru Uru Vishetium Nanga Yosichi in the Eratala Ipidan Kas Panano Apriendra Alavuk Ungliye Yen Ungli Enita Panitra Adala Rala Sonar Bangi jump Adalavandu. You can hold on. Yes. Now again I want to repeat two days back so another mind. Body, soul, wellness, and Ramari. Ade Madri, mind is your mentor, body is you, and the soul is the Ambe Corporation. When three get in together, we can have massive success. Imagine that, look at the way, Adana, you have clarity, and the end person, the thought or the clarity, you have clarity. In the Alavik, 
ambient business opportunity la mathram da you can have it he talked about personal branding and about being passionate yes we are all passionate about health and wellness it's a time to get into community building it's a time they have started big time into the community building weight loss works it's a customer it's a customer community where they link it you know the customer community one day it doesn't happen by default in the customer community that is not created yenga kitta offer irukku adanal neenga vaangunga this customer community is created basis on addressing those pain points what they are going through that is obviously and most important thing is again i'm reiterating personal branding they have to see the brand through you ladies and gentlemen nalla paarenga இப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு கஸ்டமர் கம்யூனிட்டி கிரியேட் ஆயிடுச்சுன்னா எந்த வெப்சைட்லயும் so that that is why it is very critical that if you are passionate about adventure you are passionate about cooking you are passionate about healthy living fitness if you are passionate about beauty let's go all out and create something for it once the create panita the customers are going to stay back with us where we have where we are jittery when we do business based on in the product promo irukku adanaala vaanga no it is not that any need of the r is immunity any need of the r is self care adukku and the demand create panirukoma we have come long way and iniki or or powerful message kudukkuradhukku ivangalla vandu they are giving us an example we don't need two hours time we can do it in a in, you know we have to keep it short and sweet what he wanted to convey i'm 100% sure 40 minutes each and every person each and every phrase would have got registered so that is something which is and i would like to at this part of time i would like to thank their parents because i've seen them i worked very closely with them i had the opportunity and privilege when they were uh, you know qualifying for the diamond and highest uh, you know one of the highest pin level and the way because each and everything it is sheer design and how did they design by the customer when i talk to the extras i keep asking them ipala nare per solranga self conception pathi pesunga self conception pathi pesunga avangala enna theringa solranga jerry it is like this neenga veetla irkinga veetla irukum bodhu you do you take home cook food or you take it from outside if you take home cook food that is a common sense if you take a outside food that is using the outside products so it is a common sense but what needs to be told is retail needs to be told what needs to be told is it's about customer so what is this how, you you know the thought process it is different it is it is it is inspiring and now the time has come to adapt to adapt this new change to embrace this new change and the entire team is along with you to make it happen for you and this is what we just wanted to talk to you about quickly can we go to the next slide vincent I believe you have some slides to share. Can you go ahead, or you want me to share? I can do it. You can continue, Jari. You can Calman, continue. <coughs> you can continue. Yeah, Calman promo. As I said earlier, 150 where you can be left out. There are still going on. You still have some more time left. You can maximize on it. You can use the opportunity again. It is just an additional benefit, and uh, please make the best out of it because in the end, one of the best way to build a business. So, among the platinum level, among the level achieved under the one of the reason is to ensure how do I maximize, how do I ensure? In the joint panna, in the madam la joint panna ADR allah, how do we convert into ADS? And that is one of the reasons each and every day we are working out programs only focused on how do we do the maximum conversion. In the as per the national standards, ladies and gentlemen, people coming into the business as ADR. we are seeing 100% conversion people are coming in and we are able to see 100% conversion so that is bound to happen moving on to the next one <clears throat> can we move to the next slide <clears throat> and we also have 
couple of other this offer is still there very few stocks are limited namma vandu we started late but uh, it is really good that we were able to do it and uh, apart from that i just yeah what's the next one uh, vincent next slide can we go to the next slide the next upcoming one okay this is our own achievers so this is again the next edition 23rd july 7 pm our future is bright with amway we going to have speakers we are going to have the achievers okay who are qualified as bronze pins and they will be coming and sharing their experience so ladies and gentlemen use this opportunity to bring in as many number of prospects idu vandu ungalku or library mari create pannitirukom at any given point of time you have a working woman you have the library you have the uh, you know link you can share it with them you have uh, you know young students young professionals avungaloda thiyum ninga link pannalam so we have designed in such a in such a manner that it is not a simple growth it's a massive growth so we are all set for the our future is bright with amway and this is again will be a different unique this is our own tamil nadu oda nammaloda achievers paathirukka porom celebrate panna porom moving on to the next one that's it and yeah. the good that yeah good that i'm getting lot of appreciation i would like to once again thank the parents mr anand bargav and uh, ma'am vasantha bargav thank you so much in fact i still remember when we wanted to really design the growth of uh, the state of tamil nadu i reached out to them and i told them uh, you know uh, can you come down because avanga avanga protharikum southum seri national level lum seri they are one of the powerful speakers they at that point of time itself they started you know working on those uh, basics of uh, uh, you know building the business through customer community and so on and so forth but the best thing is when they came down i was also taken back by surprise that both of them they spoke in uh, tamil complete on the tamil and adu adu vandu avlo rasicho ellarume and that was something which was a big breakthrough us at the time liye namma sonno namma sonno idu vandu design pandro in the growth design pandro next year la we would be we would be one of the top states in the entire country registering a positive growth and i can tell you by god's grace inniki we are alive inniki vandu survive pandrade periya vishayam irukke ena ella irundittum people survive pandrade kashtama irukke but we are able to survive which means that we still have certain purpose to be fulfilled and through you and through your leadership and through your team we will reach out to more number of people helping them at the right time avangaloda livelihood a irukatum avangaloda health a irukatum so it's going to be very very important that we continue to focus on the strengths and we continue to show you know the share the opportunity again opportunity endra the verum plan mathram illa age old plan mathram illa right now the opportunity is a personal branding what we could see in our moolama we were able to see that customer community weight loss paakum bodhe we will be able to connect so in each and every team we have it social social community social selling everybody want to know we are there to teach you and we have to we are there to take you through so we have some more amount of time left out if you still feel your csi with qualifiers are yet to qualify give them a call right now over the phone you you wanted to put up some attractive pictures on your uh, whatsapp profile status all the details some amway academy is available are you can reach out to your account managers so now it's all about digital and let's get excited about it and let's go all out and create one more record breaking month in your income in the sales center the epdi pathina your income when compared to last month when compared to last two months 30% hike 40% hike in matha ulagame vandu solittirukanga enak lay off panitaanga pay cut aayirukku abindra edathile amway community la irukkaravanga maatram da bayangaramma solla mudiyum confident as solla mudiyum my income has gone up and it has also gone up significantly high also due to the co plus so with this thank you so much for your time say stay tuned we will see you again next session on 23rd july 7 pm see you all take care of yourself thank you